Let's take questions for Avalanche defenseman Patrick Nemeth. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Patrick, what kind of did you see on your goal? And did you think that got through clean or did you think it was, was tipped or anything? Uh, no, I just, uh, I, I don't know. I just, uh, I just heard a sound and uh, I was just, I was just happy that it went in. Uh, you know, I think uh, Kale made a great play uh, drawing his guy to him. So I, I got an open lane and, and uh, just took the shot. So it was, uh, it was a good play by him to create some movement there in the ozone. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Hey, Patrick, uh, with the injuries to Gerard and Graves, you're obviously playing a bigger role now. Uh, something you're kind of familiar with is playing with Kel McCarr. Is, uh, are, you, are you comfortable in this top four role? And, and uh, what do you think you can bring to this team for the next uh, little while? Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I think we're rolling around a little bit there on the on the defensive side of it. Uh, now, when we have some injuries, and obviously he's, he's, he's such a big part of this team and a world-class player. You know, for me, it's more uh, trying to be a solid defender and uh, a good PK guy. Uh, that's uh, you know uh, making uh, making the opposition work hard for for their uh, for their space. So that's uh, that's who I am, and that's why I wanna what I wanna bring to this uh, team here down the stretch. Ron Knabenbauer, Avalanche.com. Hey Patrick, how much was talked about before the game of the or entire defense? Stepping up and playing larger roles with both G and Graves out of the lineup. I can't really hear what you're saying. Can you can you uh, say that again? Um, how much was talked about before the game of the entire defense stepping up with Graves and Gerard out of the lineup tonight? Yeah, I, I don't think it's just. Uh, I don't think it's just. Uh, you know, it, first off, it, it creates opportunities for other players, and then the second of all is it's. I don't think it's just uh, just on the on the defense. It's we're, we're defending as a five man unit out there, and I think. Uh, we did a good job of that. I think our forward forwards uh, reloaded well and uh, helped us in the D zone so we could uh, get out of our zone. Uh, so uh, uh, it's like I said, it's a it's a five man it's a five man unit, and I think uh, uh, we have to have that mentality here down the stretch uh, moving forward, especially going into the playoffs. Scott McDonald, Colorado Hockey Now. Hey Patrick, I just hopped on, so apologies if this one's been asked already. But um, you know, what have you seen from from Patrick Nemeth, um, you know, tonight, and then also just you know, in the the last few games that you you've been here, or sorry, Connor Timmons. Oh, Connor Timmons, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he's uh, you know, I think he's been good. I think he's been uh, moving well out there and uh, and moving the puck and uh, defending well. So uh, you know, he's he's been he's been playing well, and uh, it's 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 good for us. Uh, we need him out there. Peter Baugh, the Athletic. Yeah, Patrick, what aspects of your game have you felt comfortable with and good about since coming over? And what things are you still trying to touch up, um, I guess, the rest of the regular season? Uh, you know, to be honest with you, I've been feeling kind of rusty uh, so far. Uh, I've been missing some time here and coming in a new team. I think it's uh, I haven't really uh, seen my best uh, myself yet. I think uh, for the last uh, the last two periods here tonight, I, I felt better. Uh, there's still some areas in my game that I, that I uh, want to improve. So uh, it's just about getting comfortable and, and working on my game here uh, as, we, as we're moving forward uh, and just keep trying to get better here. All right. Thanks, Patrick. Appreciate the time. Thank you. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche defenseman Connor Timmons. Lauren Jabara, Altitude Sports. Hey, Connor, two-point night for you. And it's just been really fun to watch you these last two games and, and your confidence on the ice. Just how, do you, how have you seen your game develop these last two? Yeah, I think I've just been more sure of myself on the ice. I've been simplifying my game, um, trying to make clean exits. And I think that's kind of led to my offense. And everything stemmed from that. So um, it's just a matter of simplifying for me. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey, Connor, it seemed like uh, McKinnon kind of fueled everything here tonight in terms of the offense. Uh, would you agree? And uh, how fun is it to play with that guy? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Um, he always drives our team offensively, especially um, tonight. He seemed to be rolling. So when he's like that, you just got to give him the puck and good things tend to happen. That's kind of what I try to do tonight. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Connor, what did you see on the play on your assist to McKinnon, the first one of the game? Um, where you just kind of put it in there. What was your view on the play? And you looked pretty happy after. What were just the emotions you were feeling? Yeah, obviously, Taser and 
Miko did a great job seeming the puck to me and I just saw him creeping back door. So I tried to get it to him as quick as possible. And luckily we connected. Um, yeah, obviously whenever we can get a, a big goal like that for our team, it's, it's a great feeling. So, uh, it was pretty exciting. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Connor, sticking on topic of that goal, before the puck was dropped, McKinnon was seen kind of directing you to, to where you should stand on the play and kind of all happened so quick. Uh, my question, I guess, is was that a draw out, drawn out play and was that something that uh, you guys had practiced? Um, not necessarily. I think we kind of had spaces to go to on the ice and we had different options, um, but obviously it worked out really well and um, it was just a, a great timing play from everyone. All right. Thank you, Connor. Thank you. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche head coach Jared Bednar. Lauren Jabara, Altitude Sports. Hey, Jared, uh, big four points for you guys at home. What did you think, you know, of you guys being able to generate 44 shots on goal tonight against uh, the Sharks team playing decent defense? Yeah, I thought we we were more dangerous on the offensive side of things tonight than last game. Um, more jump. Uh, better shot mentality, a little bit better net presence too. Um, you know, last game we relied on our special teams and tonight I thought we were pretty good five on five. So uh, continued with having success on our breakouts to get us out and moving. Probably moved mo through the neutral zone a little bit better tonight and created some rush opportunities. And then ozone play, we started to get some good motion. And, and I thought we were passing up on some shots through the first, 30 minutes or so, we tried to push our guys to shoot the puck a little bit more. In the third period, we did that. Um, and, um, you know, net, big net presence. I thought Miko going to the net, he gets the one deflection off the faceoff goal. He's a great screen, taking the goalie's eyes away on the Nemeth goal. So um, real good persistence to get to the net. So it was, it was a good game. Was, um, you know, I, I thought their goalie played really well, actually, to keep him in the game for a while. And then Connor Timmins, I know you touched on him yesterday, um, obviously with confidence, but it, it just seems like these last two games, he's turned a corner. He's been so much fun to watch and, and really seems like he's found his game. Does, does that just come from, you know, playing in more games and getting those reps to build that confidence? Well, for a young guy, for sure it does. I think, uh, you know, he, he's been putting in the work. He, he had a good last stint with the Eagles, got healthy. Um, was playing with confidence down there. He comes up here, he's not going to play the same amount of minutes, but now with some of the guys that are injured, um, we just felt like he was doing the right things. He was he was more sure with the puck. He was executing more plays on the breakouts, neutral zone, ozone play than he was in his last stint. Um, so we felt confidence with him. He's a right shot. He shoots the puck well and he passes it hard. Uh, makes an amazing play on the four and four goal to the back door to Mac. Um, he has that type of ability. We haven't seen a lot of flashes of it uh, through his first few calls, but I, th I think right now he just looks like a more confident player. He's been around us enough. He knows that we need him to play well with the, these guys that we have out injured, and he's hungry to do that. And so good for him for making the most of the opportunity. We're going to need him to play well, especially uh, with some of these guys that are out. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Yeah, Jared, uh, McKinnon seemed to be in beast mode here tonight. Uh, eight shots after two oh, uh, and nine in the game. And this is coming off a night that he didn't have a shot for the first time in 264 games. Uh, I'm sure you had to have liked his effort here tonight. Yeah, I did. I thought those guys were dialed in uh, right from the get-go. And I've already kind of touched on Miko. Um, but Mac, he, he just executing – some of the things that we gave them in the game plan, he understood it real well and, and uh, made some things happen. A couple of the face-off plays that we had drawn up got us goals tonight. And um, it was just smart execution, understanding that this would be option A. If it's not there, look for option B or C. And, and, and they're able to process that at a high, high, high rate of play. Um, you know, I, I, thought, I thought he had he shot the puck pretty well. Uh, their goalie made a huge save on him on a one-timer where he hits him in the mask. Um, looked like he was a little snake bit, but once, you know, he got that one, then they 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 got a couple more. So that line was really good tonight and kind of set the tone for our team. Peter Baugh, the Athletic. 
Hey, Jared. Um, two part, two part question. Um, to start, I guess, do you have updates on the severity of Graves and Gerard's injury? Um, and then also just what did you think of Nazem Kadri's uh, night tonight? I know he didn't get on the score sheet, but it looks like he was making some things happen. Yeah, he had a couple nice plays. I think uh, he put Carl in all alone on a low seam pass in the offensive zone. Uh, Carl hit the post and then looked like it hit the goalie's knob and then stayed out. Uh, he had one following that up to not, not too long after that in the second period. So, I mean, he did some good things. He worked hard defensively. Um, he's still got another level to get to, I think, for me. But I, I, I'm seeing more of the effort and, and some of the detail in his game on the checking side of it. So hopefully that continues to come for him. We need him to be a productive player too. Um, and they're getting some chances. You know, we have some numbers on him over the last little bit where he's been producing some chances and he's a little snake bit, no doubt. And, um, you know, that's one of the reasons why I had him out at the end, uh, five versus six, trying to get him crack at an empty net, anything to kind of get the monkey off his back. So um, th they did some good things. Uh, as far as the injuries go, Gerard uh, is going to be out two weeks, um, give or take. And we'll just see how that goes for him, lower body. And Graves, I still don't have a timeline on. Um, I'm considering him day to day at this point, but that, that has a possibility to change for the worse, um, just depending on how the next few days go. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Jared, Patrick Nemeth played over 23 minutes today. I guess, number one, what did you think of his game? And number two, how comfortable are you with riding him in this top four role? Uh, obviously, without, like you just said, Gerard or Graves. It doesn't matter how comfortable I am with it. I mean, he's there and, and we need him to play well. So I thought his puck play, um, Early on, like I, I feel the same way about his game for the last few. I think he's a little rusty. He's got to get moving his feet a little bit more and just playing a little bit more assertive. I like his play down low in our zone under the hash marks. He's doing all the right things and he seems to be making plays in, in traffic down there with very little time. Uh, when he gets more time to the neutral zone and in some different areas in transition, he hasn't been in the offensive zone blue line. He hasn't been as good. But the third period, I thought he kind of just started stepping up his game when it mattered the most. Comes up with a bunch of big blocks, makes some nice plays to the middle of the ice, and then he gets rewarded for shooting the puck and doing the right thing. Hopefully that gives him a little bit of confidence because I thought he took a step in the third for us. We'll take two more here for Jared. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Jared, tonight was Belmar's 500th game. I just wanted to, to get your insight on, on what he's meant to this team just as a veteran presence. Yeah, true professional, um, extremely unselfish guy. All, everything is team first. When you talk to him, you go get that impression from him right away. It's just the type of leader and guy he is. Um, real good with the young guys, his line mates, uh, making them feel comfortable, a great communicator. Um, doesn't surprise me that he hit 500 because he's a, even coming to the league as late as he did. Um, just takes care of himself off the ice, does all the right things with his training, his, his uh, um, recovery work, diet, you know, all, all of it. Every, the work in, on days off, he's always out on the ice, helping with goalies. I mean, just type of guy he is. So congrats to him for 500. Last one here, Terry Fry, Mile High Sports. Hi, Coach. Um, after these two home games, you're a month into playing in front of fans here, albeit in limited numbers and very spread out circumstances. So it's kind of a weird situation. Does it feel, to what extent does it feel like you're playing in front of an energizing crowd? And to what extent, if any, does it feel like you're still playing in front of a four fifths empty building? After playing um, in front of an empty building for so long and, and the energy, just even, you know, a few thousand fans have brought to our building. It's been amazing. Um, it doesn't feel like we're playing in front of an empty building at all. Um, I think we're getting a, a good bump from our crowd here. Our record's been really good at home. I think our guys are excited to play in front of our fans again and um, just looking forward to the day we can get more. Uh, I'm hoping that's coming soon. Um, we can add some for the playoffs. would be great, but it, it, it feels a lot more full than what it actually is with the, with the energy that our friends are bringing every night. All right. Thank you, Jared. All right. Thank you.